We have new details tonight in a 40-year-old murder mystery. The prime suspect in the unsolved murder of E.C. Mullendore died just a few hours ago. Mullendore was beaten and shot to death on his ranch in Osage County back in 1970. At the time, Mullendore had the most expensive life insurance policy in the nation, $17 million, which led to endless speculation and rumors. News on 6 crime reporter Lori Fulbright has exclusive new information about Chubb Anderson's role in that crime. Lori? Well, Terry Chubb Anderson was a ranch hand and bodyguard for Mullendore and was there during the mur murder, was even shot in the arm. He has never been charged in this case, but people have been after him for years to tell what really happened that night. A lot of people hope Chubb would finally reveal the truth before his death. But now it appears he's taken that secret to the grave. Been much said about it, much wrote about it, and you're you're the one who knows what happened. Author Dale Lewis shot this interview between former Osage County Sheriff George Wyman and Chubb Anderson in 2009. It was only the second time the two men had met face to face. The Mullendore murder happened on the sheriff's watch, and not solving it has always stuck with him. He hoped, by promising Anderson no jail time, he would finally learn the truth of that dark, mysterious night at the Crossbell Ranch so long ago. And we're here to make a deal with you. Well, I'm afraid you're late. Late? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm going to take that to my grave with me, George. I, it's just going to be one of them deals that gets unsolved. Dale Lewis says during his years of research for a book he's writing about the case, Chubb did tell him what happened that night and who was involved. Dale was even called before a recent multi-county grand jury to share what he knew, but no indictments were issued. Anderson lived a life as an outlaw, wanted in Oklahoma and Kansas, avoiding capture by living in Montana under a fake name for 17 years until he was finally arrested and brought back. His kidneys are failing, and despite death looming and pleas for him to reveal the truth and make peace with his maker, he still resists. You got to put yourself in my shoes. You know, I've existed all these years by keeping my mouth shut about that. And that's just the way I want to leave it. Osage County District Attorney Larry Stewart told me this afternoon he thought the case would never be prosecuted if Chubb died without confessing to law enforcement. I asked him about the taped statements that Chubb gave to Dale Lewis, but the DA says those statements were inconsistent and Chubb's mental health wasn't the best, so he just thinks this case will remain unsolved. We've provided a link to Dale Lewis's website where you can watch more of these clips of the sheriff's interview with Chubb. That's at newson6.com. Lori Fulbright, News on 6 tonight.